Hi, this is Narendran from Binsara, UK. In this lecture, I'm going to walk you through a basic MVC application. We'll use Visual Studio 2017 and SQL Server in this demo. Let us begin. As we are going to follow database first approach, we'll have to make the database first. Click on database, make new database, give it a name, <coughs> my shop, <coughs> click OK. Here's our that um, here is our database and we need to create some tables, right click on table First of all, we need category, so category ID, sorry, ID of data type integer and I'm going to set this as primary key and identity specification uh, is identity yes. So we need category name of type worker and category description category description of type worker so character 500 and we're going to change the table name uh, category okay and to save this control s or you can save here um, okay so we got our database and we got our table here category okay we gonna make another table and we will have a relationship between the first table and the second table okay so basically category table and the product table so we'll have a product id of type integer and i'm going to set this as primary key and identity specification uh, yes We'll have a product name, uh, product name of type worker 50. We'll have product price, product price of type worker 50. Um, and we'll have a product description of type worker uh, put 500 and we need category ID which is the primary key of the category table and this is going to be foreign key on our product table so that's what's called um, the relationship so we're going to create a relationship between the category table and this product table so category ID of type integer and we're going to change the table name product what's that called product table what's happening it's not letting me do anything so product table and I'm going to create a relationship here uh, relationships So 
so we're going to add relationships click on the and so click on this ellipses select the category and we're going to have the category id and in the product table we will have same category id so there is a mistake i need to sort that out category id okay so id okay it has to be same so relationship table and column specification click on ellipses select category and category id and in here category id then click okay and you can click close um it's already you can see the foreign key relationship uh, it's already done product category okay so click close and that's done now we'll have to save this control s say s and refresh the table here we go and to see the key here is the primary key and here is the foreign key okay we done with our database and we done with our tables and we have created relationship between those two tables now uh, we need to open visual studio visual studio 2017 let's open so to start our new project click on file click new project project <coughs> so we will continue now um so we'll start again uh so go to file click new project and asp.net web application give it a name um what do you call my shop and i'm going to change the location desktop new folder my shop okay select the folder click okay so we got <coughs> so we are going to make an mbc application so we going to select the mbc is already selected here and we don't want to run any unit test at this moment so click okay okay so as we are going to follow database first approach we go to create model first 
right click on models add new item click on data here select ado.net entity data model so i want to change the name as care as my shop model so we are going to use entity framework designer from database so click select and then click next so we need to give a connection to the database so uh, go to sql server click on connect database engine take this name copy this name and paste it here now we can select the database which is our database i think my shop okay test the connection succeeded click ok so our connection is ready now you can change this name if you want to i'm going to leave as it is click next select the entity framework 6 and then click next here we go to select the tables so we're going to select all the tables and click finish We will have to wait till uh, Visual Studio create uh, the uh, model class for us. There we are. So we have got our entities ready. And there is relationship. So the first thing what we need to do click save control s first of all we need to rebuild the solution Has done. Now we can create controller. So here is our model class. This is the category CS. You can see the model class. This is what we created in the database. Okay. And here as well. So when we are using code first approach, we will have to write all these codes first and then create the database and system will automatically create the database. Okay, so I will, uh, I will give another lecture for that. So now um, what we're going to do is go to controller, right click on controller, add controller here. Yeah. In here, so we're gonna select MBC5 controller with views using entity framework. So we are we are going to use Razor views to create, read, update, and delete operations. Okay, using entity framework. So the entity framework scaffolding mechanism will create generate all the codes uh, for the cred operations 
okay so here we go to select the model class the category and the data context a class my shop entities so here if you have particular uh, layout page then you can use the layout page um, as we don't have anything like that so we gonna use the basic one default one okay the controller name uh, you can change it if you want but I only leave as it is and click add So the controller is generated. Um, here you can see which. Okay. This is the MVC controller for the category is table we already created, and uh, the action results uh, index. This is for get all the details from the database. We don't have anything at the moment, uh, but we will have to add something. Okay, uh, this is to get individual records based on ID. Okay, and this is a create method uh, for to create um, new records, and this is for update operation, and this is for delete operations so we don't have to write all these codes manually instead visual studio already created generated all the necessary codes for us okay it's pretty easy mm -hmm. so now we're gonna create one more controller for the product table and i'm gonna select mbc5 controller with views using entity framework okay so click add in here select the product and same and i don't have any other layout page so i'm gonna use default one and click add so the product table is all also ready uh, sorry uh, the control is also ready and all the cro codes for the credit operation is there okay so our edit delete update all the codes are there okay and it also generated views you can see the views in the views folder uh, you can see the index HTML this is the index html um, and this is the details for the categories okay and uh, that's for this is for products and this is for the home page this is the main index page for the home page okay so we can run this uh, before we run i want to make some changes so here uh, let's run first anyway Here is our home page but you can't see any link for the categories or the product tables okay so i'm going to make that link here 
this is our home page this jumbo throne uh, this is the bootstrap classes basically okay um, you don't have to worry about anything uh, so i'm going to delete all of them and i'm going to use an uh what's that called oh, control is there let me see let's leave that in a minute you just put here categories and uh, if you want we can give the link like this so you can uh, give the link in here or else I'm gonna use HTML tag so add HTML ML dot action link not action action link here we go to give you the so here we go to give the uh, name title category and uh, the method sorry the action name so go to categories control uh, where what is our action name this is our action name and our controller name is can categories okay so here you're gonna give index and we're gonna say categories categories okay click save and uh, let's run this mistake Here we are we got it here so I'm gonna change this um, 
Okay, we don't need that. Don't need that. We put H1. Control X. There we are. We got the category here. Okay, now I change the product as well. So actually, we put this in here. change it to product and we change products so this is the uh, products controller controller name the products controller name this is the action name and this is the title okay control save and the one DB small there So uh, here we got the product uh, here and we got the category here but uh, the design is not uh, nice so what we'll do we'll put that in a row so i think that's a row so it cut this and put here There we are, we can adjust the design uh, later. So for now, this will do. So click on category, create new uh, category name, vegetables, oh sorry, oh called, yeah, vegetables, uh, all fresh items, create and the category um, what do you call electronics hold electronics electronics so we have two categories here and now we're gonna go to products oh let's go to there Let's go to products, create new. See here, we got all the drop downs because we have already created the relationship between the category table and the product table. So we are getting uh, the values from the product table, okay? So product name, carrot, and product price is 12 pounds description is uh, fresh carrot okay click create that's done so 
we got product name we got product price product description and the category name okay if you want to edit that you can edit it you can change that to electronics and click save that's all for <laughs> this tutorial um, you can make the design uh, as per your requirement uh, i'm not bothered at the moment really but to, i'll just show you anyway for a second so this is the bootstrap class or the jumbotron here and you could use the container register here if you want or container fluid or whatever you can write anything you can put a row in here you can put a column and you can uh, write in s1 tag or p tag uh, whatever you want to okay and this is again a row so within that row you can also put a container here and then you can put the row it doesn't matter um, and you can use the call md uh, for to make three columns so say for example if you put this uh, this one control x in here and what is that control x is to uh, here he is no here is nothing okay you can just say that run it Here you can see it's all aligned uh, in the same page as uh, sorry same row that's all we got the link here uh, category so in this in here we use uh, html uh, helper method helper class um, uh, for to link uh, this to the category controller and the product controller as well as the actions within the controller okay it's so simple okay thank you for uh, listening um, i hope you enjoyed the video and uh, thank you very much have a good day